What's up? This is a video on how to fillet a hammer, a bonnet head shark. We kind of already got started. Brought them all the way down. I'm not sure the easiest way to show this. All right, that looks pretty good. Take a serrated knife, cut underneath the fin. You can see there's a lot of blood. It's better to do it as soon as you catch it. I have the sink running. Take a fillet knife. Go right underneath our little shark friend. Take a fillet out. This fillet knife really isn't that good. But it's all we got. When I took the serrated knife to the front, you only cut down halfway until you feel it get right into pretty much its backbone. We're going to go all the way through to the tail until it breaks off. Clean the knife off. I fucked up a little bit in the beginning, but you got one nice shark fillet. I'm going to put that on my mom's table. She's going to kill me. If you notice in here, it's his stomach. We'll go through that after. It's a girl, the poop hole, or whatever you want to call it. It's one back head. Now we're going to flip our little shark buddy over. Okay. As you see... He's got the bonnet head. We're just going to wash a little bit of the blood off because it does get a little messy. We're going to just flip him completely over. You take the serrated knife again. Cut right underneath its fin. Straight down. All the way to the backbone. Make sure you cut through his tough skin. Black tips are a little bit easier, but you got to deal with what you caught. Now again, just finish it off with the fillet knife. So little fucker bit me. Again, just hold him down. Take the fillet knife, go above his fin. Get as much meat out of there as you can. I mean, even though this knife isn't good, it will slice your finger off. As you see, it's cutting straight through this shark. Now, the bonnet heads aren't the best tasting, but anything you catch tastes better than anything you buy. And just keep digging through. Again, we're going to go all the way to the tail until it breaks off. Clean the knife off. And again, a nice fillet. Now right here, we got its fin. A fin obviously probably doesn't taste that well. I don't know, if you want to try it, go right ahead. And you can reply to my video and tell me. Now the fillet knives again are hard to cut through. Something solid, so we take this serrated knife and just cut off the piece with the fin. And again, another fillet. 
I'm going to also put that one back on the counter. Now there's more meat in here. It's hard to get to. There's more meat in its head. This right here, this is his stomach. I'll show you in a little bit. When you cut it open, you can see what he's been eating. You'll be able to find the shrimp that we used to catch him. Now I'm just trying to feel if there is enough meat worth going in there for. All right, I'm going to cut down from above his spine. And to his back fin. They have pretty tough skin. Again, another fin. Not the greatest to eat. There is more meat on here, but it's really not worth going in and getting. It's not that big of a shark. Now, to get the skin off, without cutting your finger off, a descaler won't work, because a shark doesn't have scales. You can figure out on your own how to get the skin off. Now, if you want to see what he's been eating, you will take your fillet knife and slowly slice through here. Sometimes you'll find a nice piece of calamari. Now it's a little slippery. But, I mean, who goes into his stomach? That's its little shithole. And here's its heart. If you really want to get into it. Uh, looks like he's been eating... Looks like a crab. Yeah. As you see in here, as we cut through his stomach, Up, oh, there's a little cra uh, crab for you. Right in there. And you can see, here's the tail of the shrimp that we caught, or the head of the shrimp that we caught him with. Um... And just more crab. More shrimp. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Now, I've never gotten through to the head. But other than this gross half digested digested crab it does look like there is if I cut through his spine
and some other organs. That's all meat in there. So I'm going to give it a go. Let me go get the garbage real quick. I'm going to give it a go. Well, there's blood everywhere. And I'm going to try to cut through his head. Maybe not, because it's making a little bit more of a mess than I would like to clean up for not too much meat. Uh, if you feel in there, you can tell that there's not really much meat in there. It's only on that back piece. So we got two nice fillets. Call it a day. That's all we got today. Three hours of fishing. Hope it helps you out.